This is a test. This is a test. We're gonna test this sucker out so well you're not even gonna know what happened. So, ask me some questions so I can actually respond to something. Let me tell you about the Hermes 3000. First of all, note the unibody chassis. The fact that it's all built in together. This has not been open since 1959 when this came out. I got this sucker mint for $20. I went into a, a junk store and the guy was, he had no idea what he had there. And so I played dumb. I said, oh gosh, you know, I'm not a writer, but I always thought it would be cool to have a manual typewriter sitting around the house. If you went to buy this mint today in this condition, you're talking five, six, seven hundred dollars. Look at this. I've got the instructions. I've got the original carbon and bill of sale. Little cleaners, the key. You know how often these keys get lost? I have the technology and I can use the technology, but the typewriter and the pencil force the writer to slow down. You can't use the first thought that comes off the top of your head. You're forced to slow down because your, key, your fingers can only move so fast on a manual typewriter, as with a pencil. I work between the old and the new technology. I, I don't know. I, I, I think that it's probably just, it's this generation, it's this crop of 20-somethings that have never known the world without the technology. You know, there, there's a little bit of that, you know, you know, get with it, old man. You know, you're, you're 40 and I'm 22, 23, but I don't feel 40. That's the problem. Okay.